as far as the termination uh, on the on the job side of it, uh, uh, I was very proud of what we've accomplished uh, through the years here. Uh, I thought we uh, were ahead of schedule early on. I was very proud of what we accomplished. Uh, then we went eight and four uh, in 2014. In my mind, uh, going forward, uh, the next step was for us to uh, compete for conference championships and playoff spots. And uh, though we competed, we come up way short the last two years. And uh, I have to bear the responsibility for that. So with that being said, um, I, I don't know if I completely agree uh, with this decision, but I certainly respect it. Uh, I want to thank Dr. Simmons and Billy Tubbs for giving me this unbelievable honor. Uh, it's been uh, a privilege to uh, be a part of the rebirth of Lamar football. I'm very proud of that. Uh, going forward, I only want good things for Lamar University. Uh, I do want to see Dr. Evans and, and uh, Jason Henderson take their time and bring in a great coach uh, that can get us to the next level. I want to see those three guys work together uh, to build a fan base and money and, and uh, everything that a, a president and AD and a head coach has to do together to take to the next level because that's what I want to see Lamar do. Uh, and I'm very thankful uh, to Lamar University. I, I had a lot of people up here work with me and help me. I, I've got a doctorate degree from here. Um, and Lamar University has been very good to me and my family. I want to thank everybody associated with the program for what they've done for me. Uh, well, game-wise for me was the SFA win. It kind of uh, was the first time we, we uh, beat somebody we weren't supposed to beat. And I thought it really uh, helped us. Uh, always playing McNeese is always going to be a great memory for me. And then beating them over there. As far as what I take away from Lamar, uh, just the, the great relationships with all the players. Uh, another thing I really wasn't prepared for was to make this many close friends down here. I'll go on the rest of my life, and I'll have a lot of friends from the triangle that I would have never have gotten an opportunity to even meet if I hadn't gotten this job, and they'll be friends for life. So that's, that means a lot to me and my family. Well, it's in good shape, even though we didn't win as, as many games as we wanted to this year. I think uh, we played hard. I think uh, we're an experienced Southland team now, I think we got two good young classes. Our freshmen and sophomores will be sophomore and juniors. Uh, our class last year, I think, finished, I think, third in the nation in, in, in the recruiting battles. And uh, going forward, it's very positive. And uh, if, if the powers that be get the right guy in here and, and, uh, and move forward, uh, I think the future is very bright for Lamar University. And I look forward to seeing us go on and do greater things. I really do. Well, I think the last two years, uh, we started off the season uh, playing at a high level and injuries have hurt us and we didn't have the depth. We got to recruit more depth and we got to do a better job of, uh, I think, when uh, some of that experience depth was taken away of coaching down and, and, and kind of peeling down what we were doing to where we could win uh, with younger players. We didn't do as good enough job with that the last two years uh, when we uh, lost some players. We could have still uh, went forward and won some of the games that we didn't win. Uh, you know, uh, it's very strange, and one of the things about thanking uh, Lamar for this opportunity, I have, I have so many different uh, avenues now that I, I never would have had before. I have a doctorate degree. I could, I could go try to use that. I obviously can see uh, what's out there in the coaching world. Um, I, I have my age and combination of where I could retire and take that and then go do something else in the private sector and business. Uh, and, you know, I got my daughter and grandson here to to think about, so we, we got a lot of decisions as a family to make, but they're all good. Um, and um, it's a lot, I got a lot more opportunities and decisions, that, positive decisions to make um, than I would have, let's say, five or 10 years ago. So I'm, I'm very grateful and thankful uh, to God for that. Well, I'm gone and they've got to get over that. And uh, they don't have, uh, first of all, I don't want them to make an emotional decision like I'm just talked about, I'm not gonna try to do. Uh, the best thing you can do when you're emotional is not make a life-changing decision. Take a few days and really think about it and pray about it. Their number one thing is to finish the semester in the classroom to where they're academically eligible uh, for Lamar. And going forward, we have to put up another good APR uh, number. Uh, and, and what they don't, want, don't have to do now uh, is get an attitude, well, the heck with it, and not go to class and flunk out. And that's, that's for their best interest and the best interest of Lamar University. I, I, I talked about that a lot about going to school and finishing up the semester. Mm -hmm. Well, sure, I, I uh, left a little on the table. There's a, some unfinished business. Like I said, I thought we were building and heading in the right direction, and I thought we had uh, tremendous opportunities the last two years to become a playoff team and a top caliber team, and we didn't do that, and I wanted to do that. I wanted to be 
uh, the head coach that did that, and I, I'm not going to give that opportunity going forward. That's probably my biggest regret uh, that I didn't get that done. About 1.30 today. I mean, I had a feeling that it could go that way, but we, there was never any preliminary discussions or anything before today. I have a contract, and it's pretty much laid out what has to happen if they if they terminate me. But our assistant coaches do not have contact uh, contracts, and we're kind of at uh, the mercy of the school. Uh, I would pray that Lamar University would do right by these guys and and do give them enough pay and security uh, in time for them to go get another job. And I've been in their shoes. I, I was on a staff where we fired the head guy, and, and I didn't have a contract, and I know how. Uh, tough that is on, on the coach and their families, and I just hope that Lamar University takes that into consideration and does right by these guys. Well, you know what? You guys have been fair, and I appreciate the exposure and the, and the time you spend on Lamar University. You guys have done a great job, and y'all been fair, and, and, and keep doing what you're doing because uh, I think uh, this is one of the reasons that uh, this job is so attractive. Um, we do get great exposure and great media coverage.